The game, Assassin's Creed Origins, produced by Ubisoft, to a large extent accurately reflects Egypt during the Ptolemaic period, where although the game is fiction, it is based on historical events and creates a microcosm of the ancient world. Although there are many aspects of the game that need to be examined to fully understand its accuracy, on a micro scale, it will be explored through assessing its geographical and architectural representations. As the game is fiction, the developers modify aspects of true events during this period to adhere to the plot, incorporate the invented characters, and to create an engaging experience. This limits and misinforms its audience, which in turn can distort one understanding of ancient events. However, it doesn't need to be an entirely accurate representation, as the purpose of the game is to create an engaging experience based on the historic setting. Instead, they include a discovery tour, which is a virtual museum including the historically accurate information that didn't fit into the game, and demonstrates the research and primary sources utilised by the game makers to create the ancient world. The inclusion of this virtual museum creates a new and engaging way of informing modern audiences, which in turn can create a new audience for ancient history education. The game makers' geographical and architectural representations of Egypt during the Ptolemaic period are highly authentic. However, due to the limited sources accessible by historians, limitations and misrepresentations are inevitable. The game makers employed Egyptologists and historians, in addition to performing extensive archaeological and online research, to produce a hyper-realistic depiction of what Egypt may have looked like in 47 to 49 BCE. The developers recognized the Greek, Roman, and Egyptian subcultural aspects of Egypt during this time, and utilized architecture to represent which culture dominated which region. As Alexandria was founded by the Greek conqueror Alexander the Great, the game makers portray Alexandria to prominently portray Greek life and architecture. Memphis and Zewa rather represent a more prominent Egyptian culture based on the primitive lifestyles of its citizens. Whilst the city of Cyrene, that was conquered by the Romans in 96 BCE, includes Roman architecture structures including villas, a chariot racing stadium and a gladiator arena. Furthermore, the developers include historical monuments including the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Great Sphinx, the Great Library of Alexandria, and the Great Lighthouse. In including these monuments not only demonstrates the game makers intent to create an authentic depiction, but adds the immersion and authenticity of its setting as players are able to explore ancient monuments as they hypothetically looked and in the correct locations. The game director, Ashraf Ismail, participated in an interview with The Guardian which provided an indication to the huge extent of research that was put into the game. They relied on illustrations from historical illustrator Jean-Claude Golvin, a French archaeologist and architect who created 19 paintings for the game. Notably, he created a diagram depicting the three pyramids of Giza, which is an extremely accurate representation in comparison to images from the archaeological site. The game took the diagram a step further by putting into consideration how sand formation changes in correlation to the weather, evident with a large passageway between the associated temples illustrated in Govan's painting are rather partially covered in sand. Furthermore, the illustrations also differentiate as Govan's painting show the pyramids in perfect condition, whilst the game makers rather put into consideration the conditions of the pyramids in 47 to 49 BCE. Historian Evelyn Ferron, employed by the company, explains in an interview that while the pyramids were certainly in better shape during the time of Cleopatra, they were still some 2,500 years old and very weathered. They would have been sun bleached and sand worn. Furthermore, the hidden chamber that was discovered at the Pyramid of Giza in November 2017 was already an explorable place within Assassin's Creed Origins, released a month prior. Maxime Durand, a historian of the franchise, stated in an interview that Jean Pierre Houdin's theories about the inner rooms and royal circuit with two anti chambers inside the Great Pyramid are probably the most credible which is why they decided to use them in the game. The developers were betting on the fact that these secret locations inside the Great Pyramid would probably be discovered in the near future, so they wanted to allow players the chance to visit them in advance. Not only is the hidden chamber in the game located in a similar place to where the antechamber was discovered at the Pyramid of Giza, the developers having predicted the discovery of the antechamber is a huge indicator of how knowledgeable the developers are on such monuments. The game also includes an illustration of the Library of Alexandria, one of the most famous universal libraries of classical antiquity. However, the library was destroyed during the Civil War in 48 BCE, where Plutarch describes that Caesar was forced to repel the danger by using fire, which spread from the dockyards and destroyed the Great Library. As a result, there is extremely limited evidence. However, it is evident that the structure did exist, as it has been referenced in several texts, including the Letter of Aristides, written by an Alexandrian Jew in roughly 100 BCE, and by Vitruvius around 25 BCE. 
However, these sources don't describe the location, architecture, or appearance of the library itself. Baron describes that in creating the library, the developers referenced the ruins of the Library of Euphesis that was supposedly inspired by the Library of Alexandria, as well as the Petra in Jordania and depictions of Alexandria on Roman walls, to theorise how the library may have looked. However, with the extremely limited sources in the library itself, where none of which provide insights into how it may have looked, it is impossible to actually recreate the Great Library, and therefore the depiction in Assassin's Creed Origins is not reliable. The game makers majorly emphasise geographical and architectural authenticity. However, ultimately, as the game is set in an ancient setting, there are limitations which distort the developer's ability to accurately depict every aspect of the ancient world. In turn, inaccuracies and misrepresentations can distort modern understanding of ancient events and the ancient world. For example, the game includes a representation of the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The structure was a key monument located in Alexandria during the Ptolemaic period from 290 BCE until the 14th century where it was destroyed as a result of several earthquakes. The structure was a particularly important monument where in 166 AD, Lucian, who had been employed by Alexandria by the imperial administration with the responsibility of recording of all that is done and said, states regarding the Great Lighthouse that it was the mightiest and most beautiful work of all, that a beacon light might shine from it for sailors far over the sea. Therefore, representing the structure in the game played a major role in conforming to the accuracy of Ptolemaic Egypt. However, the accuracy of the depiction itself is limited, as a result the limited remains of the structure. Roman coins have been found dating to the 2nd century CE depicting the Great Lighthouse. Whilst this provides insights, including the presence of four statues on the lighthouse, windows, a ramp and the general shape, they are significantly vague in their illustration. The coins have the purpose of depicting the lighthouse and distinguishing its associated location rather than documenting how the structure looked, and therefore more detailed descriptions cannot be obtained. As a result, textual descriptions are the primary source for information on how the structure may have looked. Strabo provides insights within his Geographia, stating the structure was constructed of white marble with several stories. Ed Risi, however, in 1154 CE, describes the structure was rather constructed with stones of the kind called Kadzan. These inconsistencies distort historians' understanding on what the true materials were for the structure. However, records consensually depict the structure as being some form of white. Whilst these sources provide insights into how the developers could depict the structure, the accounts don't provide in-depth descriptions of the architecture, designs and details, and therefore the developers had to use creative license to theorise how the lighthouse may have looked. In turn, although the inclusion of the lighthouse adds to the authenticity of the historic setting, it cannot be an accurate depiction based on the fragmentary evidence of its design. However, whilst the game makers aimed to create an authentic depiction of Egypt, the purpose was to entertain. Creating a world that represented a true civilization in humanity's history fulfilled the developers' aim to create an immersive and engaging game. Instead, the developers included a discovery tour, which is a virtual museum created by Egyptologists and historians. Within these tours, historically accurate information with supporting evidence, including primary sources, are utilized to educate the player on different aspects of ancient Egypt. This could include religion, daily life, tombs, temples, and historical monuments, etc. Notably, the tours also note the inaccuracies and modifications that were made to adhere to the narrative. As a result of inaccuracies and misrepresentations in the game, this can distort one understanding of ancient events. However, in recognising these modifications and inconsistencies, this reduces the effect. Although, it can't be presumed every player will see the Discovery Tour. The inclusion of this virtual museum creates a new and engaging way of informing and educating modern audiences, which in turn can create a new audience for ancient history education. The game, Assassin's Creed Origin, creates a hyper-realistic depiction of ancient Egypt during the Ptolemaic period of 47 to 49 BCE. However, as the historic setting is based on 4,500 years ago, many depictions are based on fragmentary information, and as a result, can't be considered reliable. The Discovery Tour, however, highlights the inaccuracies and misrepresentations, whilst creating a new and engaging way of informing modern audiences on ancient history.